Ladies and gentlemen, Star Wars Equations, episode number four. Yeah, okay, just kidding. Anyway, this is video number four of Equations. Today, we're going to talk about defining the variable, and that means actually telling us what the variable means, and we're going to solve them, and we're going to write the equations. So we're going to kind of put everything together that we've already learned, and we're going to learn how to define them. So everything else, your objective for this video is as a student, you should be able to define the variable in the equation. That's the big key, because on your I step, you will be asked to definitely 100% do this for at least one problem. And this question is probably the hardest question on the I step in the first round. So we're going to get started. Hey, you actually need worksheet number four. I don't have a picture of it, because quite honestly... I just don't have a picture of it, and yeah, there we go. So, but you do need to get worksheet number four before this video starts, so I would suggest you get it now. I'd pause the video and go and get it. Like, now. Go get it. Like, now. All right. If you remember correctly, the other day, as in yesterday, on graphic organizer number two, I had you write these things down. You might want to get that out. This is very important because you're still going to use it today. You're going to use those words. All right. Let's get started. All right. Example number one. Okay, this is what you're going to experience on your I step. Define the variable. All right, write the equation, and it wants you to solve it and show all the work. So really, we have three things we need to do. So we're going to get started on this first one. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to define the variable. And when it says define the variable, that means we want to know what the variable is and what it means. And we want you to be very, very specific because the more specific you are, the more points you're going to get. So this one says Anne has the six newest music CDs which is twice the amount that Bob has. How many does Bob have? So what do we not know? Okay, and that's the first thing we need to ask ourselves. What do we not know? And that's generally what the question is. What do we not know? Well, we don't know how many CDs that Bob has, which for those of you that don't know, even know what a CD is, it's a little round thing that, you know, plays music. Yeah, we're getting old. Anyway, so it's, we want to know how many does Bob have? So that's the unknown. So we're going to have to create a letter for that variable. All right. So I want to know how many CDs that Bob have. Because it's Bob, I'm going to use B. So we always want to say, okay, let's use B. And B represents what? Well, B represents how many CDs Bob has. Okay. So B is how many CDs Bob has. Now, because I put B here, I need to use B in my equation when I write it. So now we have to identify the equation, which this one's a little bit harder than the ones we did in the last video. So I'm going to go ahead and help you out. First thing we need to do is we need to identify our numbers. Okay, so Anne has the six newest, CD, newest music CDs, which is twice. Now, twice represents a number, okay, and that's the number two, just to let you all know. All right, twice the amount that Bob has. How many does Bob have? So we don't know what Bob has. So Bob is B. That's our variable. Okay, that's our unknown. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Now I have to identify where in the world is this equal sign and how does it work? Well, remember we said is is generally the equal sign. And we can find is right here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and underline, which is, that's going to be the equal sign. So if you look at this really closely, and twice the amount, twice means multiply. If you go back and look, twice means multiply. So if I wrote this, I would say 6 is, which means equal, twice, twice what? Well, twice the amount that Bob has. And that's actually my equation that I need to write. That gets me my points. All right, now I need to solve and show all my work. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and write it. 6 equals 2b. Remember, we draw our line straight down the middle, identify b on the side. How do we get rid of 2b? That means multiplication. So you do the opposite or the inverse, which is divided by 2. And that would give us 3 equals b. So how many C's, CDs does Bob have? Bob has 3 CDs. And that's example number 1. We have two more to go. All right, example number 2. Janine, who bought $15 worth of makeup? Spent six dollars less than Leah spent. How much did Leah spend? All right, we don't know what Leah spent. So Leah, how much she spent is the unknown. So we're going to use L, and we don't use capital letters. So maybe I shouldn't use L because L looks like a one. So let's use let's use X. X is equal to how much money Leah spent, and I know that. 
because this little part right here helps me answer that, okay? And remember, I'm very, very specific. It's not how much money. It's not X equals Leah. It's how much money Leah spent, and I need to be very specific. The longer or the more descriptive, the better. All right, the equation. We, know, we need to go ahead and write this one now. This one's kind of hard. It says Janine, who bought $15 worth of makeup, okay? Spent six less than, remember less than is one of those flips, what are we gonna flip it with? Less than Leah spent, and Leah's the unknown. So we're gonna say x minus six. x minus six is equal to what? Or we can go ahead and say 15 is equal to x minus six. Okay, we need to go ahead and solve that. Okay, down at the bottom, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do rewrite it. We're gonna draw our line straight down the middle. We're gonna do the opposite of minus six, which is plus six on both sides. And that gives us 21 equals x. And we need to be very careful. So how many CDs, it shouldn't say how many CDs Bob has, it should say how much did Leah spend. Sorry, I didn't finish that. Leah spent $21, and that's how we would solve that, okay? Mm -hmm. So, we're moving on. Example number three. There's actually two more. Now, I told you guys to go ahead and get worksheet number four. That's because this video right now is going to help you with worksheet number four. I'm literally going to give you the answer, okay? This is written just like the I-step was written, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and get started. It says, how many ink cartridges can you buy with $252 if one cartridge cost $18? It says, write an equation that can be used to determine the number of cartridges that can be purchased. Be sure to define the variable in your equation. Okay, then look down here. It says, what is the number of cartridges that can be purchased? We know we're talking about cartridges. So because we're talking about cartridges, that's generally what our variable is going to be. So, define the variable. I'm going to use C. And C equals the number of ink cartridges and that looks terrible. And I'm going to keep writing that can be purchased. Okay, and I used a lot of extra room, but remember Okay, if I was on the I-step, I'd write it smaller, and two, I want to be very specific. All right, so now I need to write an equation. This one's tough, so here we go. How many ink cartridges can you buy with $252? That's one of our numbers, 252. If one cartridge costs $18. All right, so we have to be very careful. We have a total of $252. Because we have a total of $252, that means that we're actually equaling $252. All right, this one's a little weird, so you gotta be, got to be careful. And each one cost 18, and we want to know how many we can get for $252. So, do we know how many cartridges? No, but we know that each one cost $18. So how do we figure out how many we bought? Well, we do 18 times C, which would equal $252. Okay? You might have also thought 252 divided by 18 equals C. That's essentially the same thing, but remember when we have one-step equations, we generally have one variable on one side and a number on both sides. Okay, the one down here has a number on numbers on one side and a variable on one side, so we've got to be a little bit careful. Okay, so we're not going to use that one. Now, that being said, what do we do? Well, that's actually already how we're going to solve this. So let's solve it. We have 18c equals 252. Draw our line. 18c means multiply. We're going to divide by 18. We're going to divide by 18. And what are we going to get? Well, let's see. 10, 72... Four. So we're going to go ahead and say 14 cartridges. That's the answer, 14. Okay, so 14 cartridges. We have one more to do. It's going to be number two. Free answer. Here we go. Last one in the video. Melanie's High School played 14 soccer games this year. Congratulations, 14. The team won most of their games. They were defeated during four games. How many games did they win? Okay, we want to know how many games they won. So that's what we don't know. Once again, how many games did they win? So let's use W because we're talking about winning. Define the, the, define the variable W. W equals the number of games Melanie's high school team won. 
okay? And once again, we're going to be very specific. And I know I have extra, but that's really good because I'm going to get my extra points. Okay, there we go. All right, now we need to go ahead and write the or write the equation. So what are we going to do? Well, we know she played 14 soccer games. They won most of the games. They were defeated four games. All right, so what do we do? Well, here we go. How are we going to do this? Part of me wants to say, listen, they got defeated 14, they lost four games, right? So I could just do 14 minus 4 equals the number of wins. You can do that. That one is okay. But remember, a better one, one that's worth more points, is going to have a number on both sides with a variable. Okay, so what do we do? Well, here's what we could do. We could say 4 plus the number of wins equals 14. Either one of these is going to work. Okay, I'll take both of them. They're both okay. What are we going to do? Well, 14 minus 4 is 10. So how many games did they win? They won 10. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's the end of your video. Sorry it took 11 minutes. Remember, this is super important. I'm going to be really watching this one for the grades. All you have to do right now is finish this worksheet, and we're done. That's it. I'm out. Goodbye.